did do like some skincare. I washed my face and I did a face mask just because I've been breaking out a little bit because it's, you know, approaching that time of the month and I do get hormonal breakouts. Not fun at all. I'm not doing makeup first. I'm going to install the wig or at least like, you know, start gluing it down. I didn't want to like straighten this wig, but we'll see if I end up straightening it or curling it. This is just a closure wig. I already had my ball cap on because I did a wig install yesterday to film some content. But we're just going to go ahead and put this on and glue it down. See, I really do like how this looks with like the waves and the like, you know, it's not really curls, but like the waves in this wig. And Trust me, this wig has been just thrown to the side since the last time I wore it. I'm not gonna lie, but I am feeling just curling it and just getting it back wavy. We'll see. We'll see. I'll decide. <laughs> I'll consult with my family. <laughs> So that is it for gluing this down. I'm just going to add some concealer to the lace at the edge just to get it to blend a lot better. Then I'm going to whoop, my eye. Then I'm just going to tie this down so I can do star on my makeup. Like I said, this is not going to be a full like makeup tutorial or even get ready with me. This is just going to be, yeah, you'll see parts, but not like my whole like makeup look because I don't have the time and I don't want to make this a super long video. So I'm starting off with brows. So I'm using the brow glue from NYX in the shade black. I'm just going in, I'm combing down my brows how I want them to be shaped. And this does offer some pigment to the brow as well. So it does give it like a little tint. So for today, I'm like really excited. I've been looking forward to this event like for over a month now because I've booked my ticket and today actually is the very first day that they're opening in New York for the Bridgerton experience so that's also like I would say like you know I am going to be one of the first people in New York to actually experience it so that in and of itself is also really great um but yeah I don't live in Manhattan when in New York so I'm Ubering there and I know it's going to be an expensive Uber. You do want to let this dry down for a bit I believe because it's like tacky because it's like a glue so obviously you will let glue dry down before you do anything to it but <clears throat> so while that's doing that I am going to go ahead and apply serum to my face because I haven't done that and like start doing my other skincare stuff. So if you're not new here, you've definitely seen me talk about this black tea and rose serum and my sunscreen, which is from Tula. Even though it's going to be later, still going to apply sunscreen because sunscreen is just important part of like my skincare routine nowadays. And you definitely want to let these things dry down in between each of them so they're not like mixing together. And I'm being very careful to avoid really my brows. 
this right now. So I'm just going to fill in the spots that I still feel needs to be darker and I want to appear thicker and fuller. Alright guys, so I am pretty much done with my makeup. As you guys can see, all that's really left is like lip um, stuff. So for lips, I'm actually going really simple. Um, or not simple, but I'm just using my paint pots, um, lip paint from Fenty. So this is in the shade Underdog. It kind of goes really well with the color of the dress because the dress I'm wearing is like a burgundy, like plum. Color, so I think this will go very well with that. Don't listen to them, just follow the light. You're almost there, just open your eyes, it's right there. Just like, I really love how dark this color is, and I just think it really just brings the whole look. Together, I did use a little touch of purple in my crease for my eyeshadow as well. Like, and I'm using a more purpley, like plum color for blush. So I just feel like you know, all those different tones are just like really coming through in this look. And honestly, I really do like how my makeup comes out. I do feel like I need to like blend out. A little bit like here where my concealer and my blush is i'm just going to blend that out a bit so it doesn't look as harsh so like when i'm blending out stuff like that i just like to go in with like a huge fluffy face brush just to blend out those harsh lines and just like you know like see already it doesn't look as harsh as if there's just like a line right there but yeah I just like to use this like all over my face once I'm done just to blend everything out because I'm still like because I really do like the waves like I feel like I want to try it on the dress to see how it looks with the waves and then I'll decide if I want to straighten it because straightening it would take me a while versus if I were to just like toss some curls and yeah because I'm just tossing some curls and just brushing it out that's easy that's easy. That's not taking me more than like 30 minutes. Straighten it is probably going to take me like an hour plus to straighten it because of the waviness of it right now. I have to make sure it's like bone straight, like bust down, bone straight, guys. Because we're not doing anything else. If we're going to do it straight, we want to do it all the way correct. But <laughs> let me know what you guys think so far about the makeup because really, I like it a lot. I think. This look is going to look really great with my dress. In terms of my makeup, in terms of like the dress, the bag, like everything has to match. And it's just come together. And I'm wearing like like very like champagne gold um heels. So gold and purple burgundy is the look. It's the look, guys. I didn't get any video before I left of my outfit but my mom did take a couple pictures so here are some of the pictures that she took of me before i left for the event would you look adorable sweetheart hey guys so i reached this so gorgeous gorgeous lady in the background so but everyone looks so pretty tech, already and everyone then really they did this and I'm the entryway was so pretty all the lights the flowers and then you enter into the ballroom area and then there's this nice open floor space where there's a dance floor all around there's lights there's flowers on the columns in there 
they had different areas set up throughout the room so one area you were able to go and get your portrait taken another area was a bar they had the gift area but it was just really nice there are a lot of people that were dancing which i did love that fact because sometimes people don't want to get on the dance floor they had the actors and performers like showing us the steps to a dance and we were just going through it I will say one thing to keep in mind is to wear comfortable shoes because there is no area to really sit down. Most of the time you will be standing on your feet. We did get to see the queen, which honestly that was one of the highlight when she made her entrance. It was very extra and it was just so nice to see, you know. Unless you were part of the Queen's Court, you didn't really get to interact with the Queen as much. I was not a part of the Queen's Court, so I was unable to. This is where we did our portrait. So this is what the portrait looks like afterwards. It came out really nice and cute. I did do it with the girl I met named Diane. We took our photos together and we looked so pretty. Of course, I had to get a drink. At the end of the event, the queen chose the diamond of the season, which was this lucky lady. Her outfit was cute. Personally, I thought I saw a lot of people with better outfits, but still, she was the one that was selected. Head up, feet on the ground, oh baby, I need a miracle. It's in my head, darling, I hope that you'll be here with They did have different areas set up that you can take pictures and videos. So one of the workers did take this video for me. As you guys can see, I was so over it. This was at the end of the night and my feet were killing me. Right after this, I did take my shoes off to just get a breather. So here I am in the Uber going home. I was so tired. My shoes came off. It was an over an hour ride to get back home hey guys hi guys i'm back home i had an amazing night like definitely worth the price like everything was so pretty and beautiful i wasn't even able to capture everything because you know people are blocking you sometimes and all that but definitely will try to include as much of the clips that i got so you guys can see what it's truly like especially if you're thinking about going they are in new york until the end and i don't know they are in New York until July, I believe. So if you're in New York City and you are interested, or even if you're like in Jersey and you know you want to come, definitely check them out. I think it's totally worth it. Also, go with people. I went by myself, but I did meet people, you know, to socialize with, which is what I love about doing solo things. You are able to meet more people when you do things solo because other people who are by themselves will like you know naturally gravitate to you because they see you're by yourself also it's just i don't know doing things solo can be really fun when you don't have to wait on people sometimes like you know you're free to kind of do what you want but go with people if you if that's your type of thing or you can go solo i definitely did enjoy going solo because I, like i said i met people and had a good time still also my my hair hold up amazing my makeup also did hold up amazing i'm just a little oily it was hot in there i will say at least i got hot after a while but really amazing experience guys i am so tired though i'm ready to go to my bed <laughs> you're doing red so i'm going to change like i still have my dress on everything like I had to give my mom and grandma, you know, like the rundown, show them pictures. My mom is actually going with a friend next Sunday. So, yeah. So, she wants to know, like, you know, what's it all about. But I totally would recommend it. 
and that is it for this vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i definitely enjoyed it <laughs> but i will see you guys in my next one bye guys love y'all make sure to subscribe if you haven't already like and comment